I have done a handful of drunk tweets, and so far people haven't been able to tell the difference, although I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad <laughs> thing. Anna Kendrick may be small, but she is sure mighty, and girl has got the mouth to prove it. She is unapologetically herself when it comes to speaking her mind, and the proof is all in the tweets. So as an ode to the baddest, bossiest tweeter that is Anna Kendrick, we're breaking down 11 of her most hilarious relatable tweets right here on Listed. When scrolling through Anna Kendrick's Twitter feed, besides the usual chuckle to yourself, two words seem to always come to mind. Literally me. Summer is right around the corner, which means the dreaded grooming season is also quickly upon us. But for all of you single or maybe not single folk, Anna perfectly summed up the struggle of just not giving a you know what. That thing where you haven't shaved your legs in a bit, so you decide to wait and get a wax, but you don't do that either. Speaking of totally not caring at all, Anna knows the struggle all too well after deciding to ignore a text you received until the recipient confronts you about it. Well, of course, I got your text and chose not to respond. Why are you making it weird? But because of questions asked by people like that, or just humans in general who seem to get on your deepest nerve on one of those days where you've literally had it with just about everyone, one, don't worry, Anna gets it. We too believe that life would be easier without that one thing called, what is it? Oh yeah, other people. I hate people. Ever get stuck in that limbo of despising all human life forms but feeling the need to be liked by all human life forms? Anna can relate to that struggle when she said, for someone with such an intense need to be liked, you'd think I would have figured out how to be less of an We'll all figure it out one day. So look, we're all trying to better ourselves, whether that means being less condescending toward coworkers, binge watching less Netflix, or making an effort to get into a decent physical shape. But the key word here is effort. Why do I wish for more hours in the day when I spend so much of the time I do have pinning healthy recipes? I know, I'm never gonna try. Hashtag same. I mean, I'm, try I'm trying now to, you know, work out and eat some vegetables and like, it's awful, I hate yeah. it. Listen up ladies, there's most days where putting on a bra is necessary, but there's every other day where putting on a bra is dreaded. And understands the struggle loud and clear when she tweeted, I'd say a good seven out of 10 days I end up thinking, I put on a bra for this? We all learn the stages of grief in psychology or whatever class that was, but leave it to Queen Anna to even more accurately describe what we humans go through following, say, a breakup, a feud, or just a serious case of PMS. You have denial, anger, cookie dough straight out the tube, booze, and finally, watching adorable animal videos to make sure we can still feel something. Sounds about right. But in any case, happy or sad, when you just don't have the energy to get out of bed, the whole adulting thing seems to get postponed for the time being. Like the moment you notice just how dirty your room is. Like Anna, when she tweeted this groundbreaking observation. Just spotted a Pop-Tart wrapper under my bed. That seems about right. Hashtag grown woman. A mere 12 hours later and you guessed it, still there. She wrote a follow-up tweet saying, it's been over 12 hours, it's still there. It would be so easy to get it, but just so much easier not to. Hashtag grown woman. Speaking of refusing to get up, there are days when you just don't. But to feel better about ourselves in the slightest, do as Anna does. She tweeted, quote, sometimes the only reason I leave my house is so when someone asks about my day, I don't have to say Netflix and avoiding responsibilities. The struggle. But when it comes to good old responsibilities, friendship responsibilities to be exact, we all know our friends have a civic duty to uphold. And when people say things, as Anna tweeted, I don't want a whole dessert, let's just get two spoons. That kind of negativity talk is strictly unacceptable. And finally, after all is said and done, Anna might as well have struck gold when she came to the hard hitting realization that no matter what happens, what horrible but simultaneously awesome decision we make and we are stuck with ourselves for like ever. She said, oh God, I just realized I'm stuck with me my whole life. So you might as well go out and enjoy yourselves. All right, so I clearly could go on and on about the brilliant Twitter of Anna Kendrick, but right now I wanna know which of her tweets you related to on a spiritual level. So share your thoughts right down here in the comment section. And after that, be sure to click right over here to check out all the times Chrissy Teigen said what we wish we could. Thanks for hanging out with me here on Clever News. I'm your host, Megan Lamontagne. I'll catch you later.